Well, Mr. President, welcome back to the White House. We're talking your way over. It's been a while since you've been here. Yes, sir. You're both here with President Reagan and your father, and uh, we welcome you back. And, uh, you know, when we met in New York last year, you told me that uh, you know, a strong alliance has to continue, quote, here's your phrase, to evolve as we face the challenges of this new century. And we are facing new challenges. And I can't think of any better partner to have than you. I couldn't agree more that we have to face the best to continue to evolve. Together, we're tackling climate change, uh, we're accelerating our country's transition to clean energy, and we're standing up for our shared democratic values and workers' rights and the rule of law. And together, we're deepening our economic cooperation, which is going to continue to deepen, I think, is hugely beneficial. And we're going to announce that, I'm sure we're going to announce today that I'm sending a first of its kind presidential trade and investment mission to the Philippines. We talked about that very briefly yes. up in New York. And the United States also remains ironclad in our remains ironclad in our commitment to the defense of the Philippines, including the South China Sea, and we're going to continue to support the Philippines military modernization goals. Mr. President, our countries not only share a strong partnership, we share a deep friendship one that has been enriched by millions of Filipino Americans in the communities all across the United States. So I want to thank you again for being here. I look forward to our conversation today. And I invite you to make any comments you'd like. The floor is yours. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Uh, and I, as you say, uh, it, uh, in the difficult times that we are facing ahead of us, uh, I, uh, we need to find uh, many ways to uh, strengthen our alliances and our partnership uh, in the face of the, the new economy that we are facing post-pandemic. Um, beyond that, there, is, there are also the uh, uh, issues, geopolitical issues, that have made the region where the Philippines is uh, possibly, arguably, the most uh, complicated geopolitical situation in, in the world right now. And so it is only natural that uh, for the Philippines to look to its uh, sole treaty partner uh, in the world uh, to strengthen and to redefine uh, the relationship that we have and the roles that we play in the face uh, of uh, those rising tensions that we see now. Uh, around the South China Sea and uh, Asia Pacific and Indo Pacific region. So I welcome very much the opportunity uh, to come here uh, to visit with you in the White House and to discuss all these terribly important issues. Uh, we have many things that, uh, uh, that are new that need to be assessed uh, and again our role. Uh, as partners uh, in the world, in our world view of what we are hoping for the future of peace, not only in the Asia Pacific and in the Pacific region, but in the whole world. So, thank you once again for this opportunity. Thank you, and I'm optimistic. Thank you. 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 Thank